Hi and welcome to another quick Blender tip. Today I'll be showing you how to hide your mesh lights from the camera, either in your final render or when using the rendered mode in the viewport. Now the cool thing about this is that while the mesh light is hidden from the view, it still behaves normally. It illuminates your scene just like you expect it to. So for example, in this render we have our Suzanne as the subject, but you cannot see the rim light that's right behind her. All you can see is the highlights and the uh, back of the head and the eyebrows. So let's take a look at the scene. Um, the camera's right over here. Susanna's right over there and here's the rim light. Now I also have two more lights lighting her but that doesn't really matter. All we're focused on is this rim light right behind Suzanne as you can see in the camera perspective. So let's go to the rendered shading mode in the viewport. And again, it's the same thing as the render. You can't see the rim light. And the reason is because I'm using a custom node group called Mesh Light right over here. Let's go and try out the uh, regular emission uh, surface. And the light pops back up, uh, and you can see it in the viewport. If I uh, go around the scene, you can see that the other two lights are again hidden, and that's because I'm using that Mesh Light group. So what is going on in there? I'm going to uh, click tab and uh, expand it out. And you could see a mix shader node. And it takes in the emission and transparent uh, shaders into it. Now for the factor value, it uses the light path node. More specifically, the is camera ray. So what happens is cycles differentiates between uh, the camera and the world. So in the camera, it uses the transparent material for the, for the lights, and you can't see them. But in the world, it's still using the emission to illuminate everything. And thus, you still have your illumination from the lights. Now, to add these uh, groups, you could either go here and click Add, or Shift-A to bring up the Add menu. Now, in the under the Input tab, you can have the, uh, the light path right over here. And the shader tab provides you with the mix shader, emission, and transparent. Now, when you have all those shaders set up just like this, you can select all of them, uh, hold Control, press G, and group them all into this nice uh, group right here. And you can name it. I named mine Mesh Light, but it could be whatever you want. And uh, another cool thing about this is that uh, once you have the group, you could reuse it. If you um, bring up the admin again by holding shift and pressing A, you could go down to the group and you can see that mesh light is right over there. So, and that's what I use for the other uh, two lights to make them uh, transparent and, and visible, f invisible to the camera. So, that's about it. Uh, I hope that this can help you make better uh, looking renders. And if you like the tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also, make sure to check the description for any links and further information. And I'll see you guys next time.